and older. The resolution asks that corrections officers, postal workers, grocery store workers, and educators also be added to that group. And right now, they fall under 1B. The governor has previously said the state cannot expand eligibility until our supply increases. George. I just called Rob Pitt's office, uh, Fulton County Commission, and asked them why they have not sent anyone to these senior living facilities that are not long-term care like a nursing home. They could do the entire building in one day. People 65 and above. And this people, this building is full of them. Why has Fulton County not sent anyone out here? Why are we left to do this on our own? Hmm? Some people don't know how to operate a computer, don't have access. And if they have a smartphone, they only use it to make phone calls. Come on, start using that brain of yours, folks. Get it together. We can proceed with a Democrat-only bill. Their proposal includes billions for schools, which the CDC says should be spent on ventilation. The agency says that, plus wearing masks and vaccinating teachers, should get kids safely back to class. We know that it's possible to reopen schools safely without all of the teachers being vaccinated. Vice President Harris tells Axios the administration will act with no national strategy. We're starting from scratch, something that's been raging for almost an entire year. The U.S. is now halfway to President Biden's goal of 100 million vaccinations in 100 days. Morehouse College announced the death of its get a bunch of information but there isn't you know click here another issue is that they do get a hold of these links you're put in this holding period in this queue um and it just kind of spins and spins then once you're in there and in the platform they ask a lot of questions and people don't really understand that you know you don't need to list your actual doctor and have the actual phone number you can go in get your appointment quick and go back in and make those make those edits later but this educator has now become an expert of sorts along with several other women across georgia they're all strangers but they're all united under the same mission to help people who are struggling to make appointments through this facebook group now we've booked over definitely over 1500 appointments for people marcy salcedo stumbled upon the group during a google search at that point she had already spent several weeks trying to get an appointment for herself and i told him where i was that i was in Gwinnett county and then I told them the issue I was having, you know, that sometimes I could get in, but it was knocked out before it was finally submitted. She says one of the... Will be struck it. Who are you, son? Mr. President, the statement was in evidence, the slide was not, so we will withdraw the slide. The, the statement was in evidence. Don't have any you know, evidence. They were following elements of Congresswoman Dean's presentation. They're saying that it was not in the record. As you just heard, even though they had objected to one portion of it, and Congresswoman Dean at first believed that it indeed it wasn't in the record uh in fact according to the house democrats uh, their evidence was in the record so they will stand by it um we'll see if this continues over the course of the day we've thought that both sides wanted to end this relatively quickly but it seems as contentious uh, as ever right now and now there it appears rachel scott that they're trying to uh, confer at the desk and figure out if this was indeed part of the submitted materials up for discussion right now whether or not you have
up with incitement of insurrection and saying it is so serious to the point where he needs to potentially be barred from running from office again, why they wouldn't just possibly extend into the next week to actually have witnesses. Uh, but this discussion playing out here, it is contentious there on the Senate floor right now as we move into the final phase of the impeachment trial for former President Donald Trump, George. Thank you, Rachel. Of course, John Carl, one of the, pro one of the questions could be, would their votes hold together for future votes on each individual witness, all the documents? They have those four Republicans uh, voting along with them to get the, the testimony of Congresswoman Herrera Butler. It's unclear whether they would have maintained that support through an extended debate over several witnesses. Yeah, the only vote we had was a vote to make witnesses admissible, uh, but each and every witness for both sides would have required a separate vote. It seemed clear that they were poised to vote in favor of, of a one-hour uh, deposition via Zoom with the Congresswoman, uh, but you know, every other effort to have uh, witnesses would have required a, a separate vote. Is this any Vega? George, I'm talking about what we're saying. And, and you're, the quote by, by Bernie Sanders is saying, is recognized for five minutes. Today's gig economy sprung out from the uh, last recession. It offers a job that anyone wants. I can hear you. I think it's a filter. <laughs> it it is. I don't know how to remove it. I'm here live. I'm not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> chamber right now and how this is also going to land with progressives in their pockets because and if we fight and as the next governor of georgia i will never stop fighting we can show the old guard something new and we can fight i don't know and we may find out relatively soon the Trump defense team says it only needs three or four of their allotted 16 hours to make the case. In Washington, Doug Luzader for Good Day Atlanta. Well, it is 832. I just heard a lie about the Biden administration. Oh, man. One million doses a day? No way. Halfway to that hundred million. Uh -uh. That's a damn lie. That is a lie. Oh, Nancy Pelosi it has to be pulling her hair out right now. And Chuck Schumer's counting his days in office, and he has left. Us. I believe they're both going to get primaried. Yeah, that's a new word, by the way, primary. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. seven-year-old can't operate a saw in a lumber mill. You know why? Because some jackass way back when actually had a seven-year-old operate a saw in a lumber mill. <laughs> Just imagine the workers complaining back then. Oh, what a long day it was, huh, guys? I can't wait to get home and roll my tire down the street with a stick. I mean, sure, paying your workers with baseball cards and bubble gum would increase profits, but it's wrong. <laughs> Listen, a good boss should know how to make a buck and still be a human being. <laughs> 
You see, capitalism, it's just a recipe for economic success. And it doesn't taste quite right to sprinkle in a little morality. <laughs> Master of none. Yes. Really? No. Uh, cobra pie. Not even close. Strudel things? <laughs> no. Pepper Jack Horseman. Why are you doing that? The, the, the chilling adventures of spirulina. Negativo. The, the haunting of fly mayonnaise. Absolutely not. Yeah, is it called waffles and mochi? No, it's not called. Wait, actually, yeah. That's it. <laughs> For the kids at school to make fun of Joseph. But it's also wrong to see it happening and not do anything about it. The right thing to do. Let the other kids know that it's not nice to make fun of other people because it hurts their feelings. Tell your parents or a teacher what's going on and, and they can help too.